Canu, welcome back to cold Paisley. How does it feel to be back after your World Cup adventure? Oh, no, it feels amazing, you know. Um, keen to get back into it and uh, get back cracking out here on the pitch. Talk to us about that that adventure over in Qatar. How did it feel to, to be over there? Yeah, it felt amazing, you know. Um, I've said before, who would have thought I'd be there, you know, a couple of months ago, only coming here. And, um, yeah, obviously hit the ground running and... and and what helped was the club doing well as well. So I want to continue that while I'm here, but uh, the experience was you know, out of this world for me, at, at this age especially. Talk to us a little bit about that experience. You played in all four games. Obviously the, the, the big one that everyone would have been talking about, your start against Argentina, coming up against Lionel Messi. Yeah, um, who would have thought that would start you know, in, in the last game? But who would have thought I'd get minutes? And um, quite a lot of them too, to be fair. So you know, I have to, have to credit, you know, say thank you to, to the coach back home and, and everyone involved that, that over there. But yeah, it was surreal, honestly, to to hear my name, you know, get called from the warm, the warming up, here at the side of the bench, um, to say yeah, you're going on in a World Cup game was so special for not just me, my family as well, you know, that that they've been behind me working hard for this goal. So yeah, um, yeah, a bit lost for words for, for to be honest, but you know, very happy and and uh, a bit proud of myself for the, all the hard work, but also happy for everyone involved. Incredible opportunity, obviously you, you were in a group with France and, and Denmark, you come on against the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Antoine Griezmann, then against Denmark, you know, the likes of Christian Eriksen, then again Lionel Messi, I mean, what was it like to, to play against players of these standards and what do you think you've maybe learned over those four games? Yeah, I learned that, you know, we're, we're, firstly we're not actually far uh, far from them, you know, as players, the, the bar's not too far, you know, they're obviously just training at the highest level with um, other great players around them, which um which is why I left Australia to do, you know, come here and do that. So I just want to keep growing myself and, and, real, and you know, you can realise that you could be in amongst them, you know, one day and that's that's the dream of, of mine and I'm sure every young player, you know, not just in Australia but all over the world. So, yeah, yeah they're obviously quality because, you know, they're doing it at the highest level and so consistently and, um, yeah, you realise that if you can tweak a few things uh, in a positive way physically, uh, mentally and obviously on the ball, clean up things in games and, and moments in games where you know you can be cleaner with the ball. Everything really that they do, you know, in bundles, is um, special to, to watch and it was good to experience in person. Do you think it maybe gives you that little bit of extra drive to, to maybe take your game to that next level, knowing what you feel like you have to do? Yeah, definitely. Especially because as a team, you know, we went toe to toe with all of them. So individually, you, 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 yeah, you want to just. I want to work harder now. You know, I, I haven't come back with any um, satisfaction that I've done anything you know too special I, I want to work harder and, and improve and, and get better and you know better myself which will, which will hopefully better my teammates around me What was it feeling like for Australia given that you, you got through the groups and, and made it to that last 16 and really unlucky against Argentina as well Yeah I think so you know I think with um Without that man, a bit of magic, uh, without Messi, that, that bit of magic that he did, I think you know we were in for a great shout. You know, he showed that individual brilliance that he has, which can change a change a game. You know, which is which was sad for us because it knocked us out in the end. But you know, I kept saying to family and friends, you know, we like. I don't know how you felt watching it, but during the game, I really felt as the game went on that we were getting more comfortable and we really could have done something. Which was, you know, it's it's cool because we're disappointed for that, and we it shows that you know. A, a, a small, small team like Australia. We're not small, you know, anymore. But we were classified as small. We can go head to head with, you know, the biggest nation in the world, which is, which is cool. So it's amazing that we were disappointed about that result, you know. What was the reaction like from supporters back home to, to that journey? Ah, oh, they were. To be honest, they were, they were really surprised. Which is, for us, it's, it's obviously a bit sad because we want football in Australia to grow and. We want them to regard us, you know, as top players and, and as a top team, which I'm sure now they think, you know, we're a great, we're a great, great side. We can go toe to toe with kind of, with those kind of countries and with the with the best. But yeah, um, in terms of football in Australia, you know, it has to grow, it, it, yeah, because um, I think other codes are, are invested more and um, yeah, money wise as well, uh, everything. So, but I think participation wise, kids want to play football the most. So. We just got to keep uh, pushing that, and hopefully things sort of go in our favour in that country. I'm sure you would have got a lot of messages off some Mirren supporters while you were away as well. Very proud of of your exploits. Yeah, um, I couldn't tell you know who, who probably more St Mirren and Scotland fans to be honest, which is which is amazing. And um, you know, I'd say thank you to all of them because uh, it's special to see. You know, I try to get back to everyone to say thank you or or you know um, like their stuff to say thank you very much to, to see that you know I appreciate all the all the support that I've been getting because I have I have been getting a lot since I've got here you know, and I appreciate appreciate it and I love playing in front of all of them so hopefully um good things continue here and we keep winning yeah and obviously we mentioned it before you went but creating history in terms of that first player ever 
from St Mirren to, to go to a World Cup. How much has the move, do you think, helped you since you came here in the summer to to get to that level? Oh, it's it's probably you know, um, it's probably the major reason why why I'm I'm at I'm at that. I'm in the team. I'm in the the national team setup. It's purely because of St Mirren, you know, because of um, the chance they took on me coming, and then you know me leaving home, me leaving my parents, and, and coming here to to you know play um, European football and play at a higher level and improve my game. You know, it's, um, so massive thank you to everyone involved. You know, from everyone at the club to to all the players. You know, they've all treated me well once I've got here as well. So you know, couldn't be happier to to have a better team uh, behind me supporting me. And um, I came and walked in today, and they were they were all happy and chuffed for me. You know. Give me a round of applause. So, you know, um, yeah, they're all they're all special to me now. So it's um it's good that, that I can play with these boys and hopefully you know good memories continue. I think I speak for everyone at St. Minimum. We're very proud of, of what you did over there and well done, Keanu. Oh, thank you very much.